Hello, my creative friends. Today I'm using a few leftover paints. They're all of the global range. I used one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and a couple of drops of silicone in every paint colour. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I feel like swiping, so let's go. All of the colours, but the two I can tell you I've got on offer today are the Metallic Ice Gold and the Metallic Bronze, both new from Global last week. They've mixed up nicely. This is the Metallic Ice Gold. You can't see the frosted gold fleckers that it offers, but the Metallic Bronze is quite nice. And all these other ones are Global Impastos, just a little bit left over of the colours that I used in a class yesterday. I'm going to be pouring directly over this creation that I did last week where I was experimenting with just free paint and then some high flows directly onto it. And I do like it, but I'm now just going to use this canvas to play on. So I'm going to be doing some kind of swiping. I'm not really too sure. Let's see what happens. My first part of my preparation is going to be just putting a base colour down. At first I wasn't planning on doing that, but I am using and going other over, other, other, over a creation I did last week, which was experimental. And I learned a lot from it, by the way. I was using high flows directly onto paint and got these really interesting shapes and fractals. But, you know, um, the painting doesn't offer a lot to me so off it goes it's going to be reused i've chosen a baby light blue because the colors as you saw before are all in the shades of blue so it should look quite okay uh, by the time i've covered it up and let it sit for a bit here's a clincher i don't know whether this has got any silicon in it or not so surprise surprise let's see what happens Okay, so it does have silicon in it, and I can tell because of the little dimples that are coming up here. They're naturally forming cells on their own, but they have got nothing to contrast with because there's no other colours. So we know that the base colour's got silicon in it, which could mean that we're in trouble for covering the canvas properly with paint. So we're going to be using a lot of paint. Um, but I'm planning on having heaps of fun with this, just a nice freeing playful piece probably flowers you know if you watch my stuff i tend to love doing flowers so um let's get on with it or i don't know maybe i should just finish playing with it with my fingers all right so you know how i was saying i felt like doing a swipe i'm still not sure if i actually do or not um i might actually start with a swipe and then build up upon that. This uh, diamond ice looks really, really nice. Diamond ice looking really, really nice. And I feel like I want a bit more coverage on my canvas, but I'm really tricking myself, you know. It's quite heavy with silicon already, and 
to think that I'm going to get more coverage could be uh, an illusion. But let's see how we go. I'm just going to use paper towel for my swiping tool. And I'm going to pull two pieces off like that and try to do the movement in one one fell sweep, which I'm getting pretty good at. And you know, if you've been practicing your swiping, it's not too hard as long as you let your swiping tool get some suction, allow it to really feel the paint, and then down you go. Look, there's some part there that I didn't get properly. All right, here we go. Bringing it down. Nice and easy. Oh, look, it's pulling some of the paint off and we're getting some of the underneath canvas revealed. So that's interesting in itself. Just having a look at where we're at. Down we go. I'm going to turn this around and let that kiss that part of the canvas so that there's more paint covered on the side. Kind of lean in. Oh, I've got a fair few bubbles. And... Well, it's interesting. Interesting in that this side now is lighter with a blend coming down. And because this diamond dice is quite translucent versus the whites or darker colors that we would use to contrast in, the cell formation is very, very subtle. Bear with me while I find a torch, hang on. All right, I just need to go and find a torch.
they look really quiet. I'm not really too sure what I want to do with these. I actually feel like I want to squish them, but I don't have a balloon around me. There will be something. Let me go and investigate what I can use. I just, for composition, I'm really happy with my free-flowing flower and I might just add a little bit more wispy bits to it to make it more whimsical, even though it is quite whimsical. And I love how the this now has alluded to a cloud in the sky. But I'm not sure what these are going to become. Maybe, I'm not sure. I do feel very much the urge of squishing. Let's see what I can come up with. Dum da da da. All right. I've never been the best balloon squisher. But I think I'm going to just go for it. Ready? It's sort of like I'm rolling it more than squishing it. I'm not really too sure why. Maybe I'm going to turn these into some kind of birds. I am. I don't know how. I can see the bird shape in them. It's phenomenal. Just help that abstract outline a little bit for the viewer who struggles with imagination, which is normally me. Um, then I think I'm going to just get away from this canvas. And see how this comes out dried it's really interesting and been heaps of fun oh I've got the squishy desire come on I'll bring you off so we know it's really heavy with paint because I did that base color in the baby blue and then did a pull well a swipe that sort of didn't really work so efficiently with that diamond dice and here's my squishy three birds and remembering this is an abstract vision and the role of abstract art is to allude to a shape and allow the viewer the space to fill it in with their own mind so I have in essence cheated by putting these lines in to help the viewer see what I have intended so that's a bit naughty of me but nonetheless and coming down to my very, very fluid abstract flower, I um, love the shapes of it and the beautiful formations of colour and swirls and then how I drew these up into petals. It's very much something that I do quite a lot. I mean, I just love doing flowers. The paint is very, very heavy, so... Um, and a bit thinner than what I normally would use for this type of style being swiping. I'd probably use something a little bit thicker, um, hence it coming back in and folding upon itself. But it's really, really pretty in areas. Well, in fact, in all areas, there's a lot to look at. And um, even the way that the underneath painting is popping through has provided it with some kind of texture and depth and when this dries it's going to look really interesting because you can see how it's wanted to create cells but hasn't been able to because this diamond color this one here is so translucent on the sides it's very messy so if i really wanted to tidy this up i would go around the edges in a solid color or even just tape it to provide a, a concept of a frame um this part here is a bit concerning because it just keeps pulling but I might just do this to over the next hour or so as it dries but you know I probably shouldn't worry too much about it and 
put that away because I know what I'm like. I can just keep working things way too much. But it was really a fun afternoon activity, one that has loosened me up to be able to do other art. Um, more some, you know, things that I have to have a little bit more of a successful outcome. And when I say successful, this is a successful outcome. It is fluid art. It is abstract art. You can't go wrong with it. But probably what I mean is something that's a little bit more serious on a fresh canvas with tidy finishes and in, in, uh, intended blah, blah, blah. Now I'm just blah, blah, blahing. All right, I'm going to get last week's work and show you that, and then we'll finish for today.